What's that TV say? Hello, something, something. The image on the screen is pale, blurry, and barely distinguishable. Ah, so same for you, character. Bravo. I should have reloaded. Shit. I really should have reloaded. Forty six, forty six, twenty six. Guess I can reload. Who's moving around there? Oh, sounds coming from me somehow. Right, it doesn't look like any of them have guns, so. Are these guys tougher? Um, yeah, 15. Alright, let's just try shooting them anyway. So, you. I'm going to do a pistol. Uh, a short circuit. I can still. Oh no. I can either get. One, two, three. So, I can get three shots off. So, I might as well shoot this guy twice. And then shoot. Yeah, 54. Damn. Yeah, that was low chance anyway. So I've got five shots left. Right, now let's start using my abilities. So I'm going to do my stun on you. And igniting shot. Ignition for three turns. Energy jam is zero. I guess I could see what this does. So is he not really taking damage? It's not brilliant by the looks of things. Eh! Might as well just move a couple of AP. Maybe... Ah, yep, yeah, fire damage, there we go. Let's see if we can loot him quick! No! Wait, yes! I can loot the holograms! <laughs> so you just have to be quick enough, it seems. Obviously, you can only do one, though, as well, because, obviously, you can't loot in the combat. Right, so that's an anomaly. I want to see whatever that is. Compact drilling rig. Mobile generator. Examine. You see a gasoline-powered generator among thick ferns and bushes. Thick cables lead from the generator to the nearby consolidated driller. The fuel indicator is at the zero mark. I do have a canister. Move away. Don't know what I'm doing here yet. A consolidated driller covered with mud dust and thick damp soil. The power indicators are off and the driller is unplugged. Examine the exact extraction spot. The driller project is not finished. There's a little hole full of quartz crystal fragments under the hanging drill. A beam of thin yellow light is coming through from one crystal. It must be a relic. Start drilling. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, no, so it is unplugged. So, I guess I can get the relic part. And that looks like a relic as well, right? Fuel it up. Start generator. It starts. The key has been left in the ignition. Aha, terrible mistake. Jesus, that's loud. Alright, let's use the drill. Start drilling. Driller bites into the ground with a moist crunch. That's a lovely description. I can't barter with it. A translucent hopper begins filling with chips of rock and you spot a small relic within, speckled with glowing yellow fibers. Retrieve the relic extracted. Uh, you retrieve the relic from the hopper and wipe away the clawed stick into it. It's a strange device, a bit smaller than a soccer ball. The surface looks like metal, but the relic itself weighs nothing. And let's just turn you off, because you are making a lot of noise. Oh no, I can't. Alright, let's just see what's over there. That just looks like a light, actually? I thought it was something special, but... Oh no. Secret discovered. Where? Oh. Ammunition box. They call, I guess. So are those things, like, showing where I've spotted things? No. It must just be lights, then. Either that or I haven't got enough to, uh, perception to find out what that is. Yeah, they're just, like, weird glowing surface things. Another one? Damn. Can I unlock it? Granted ability, ammunition box, insufficient. Ah, I should have put more points into lockpicking, shouldn't I? 
whatever that'd be. Kind of want to talk to her. Oh yeah, I need to see what that uh, relic does. Um, bottom of this small metal prism is covered with a peculiar geometric pattern visible only in the light. I can't equip it. Interesting. I can't use that one either. So I guess I mix them together or I can trade them in for something. No path. Alright, let's do a save and then see about getting around this to get to the blue. I should probably speak to her first. She looks like she knows what she's doing. Kinda. I mean, she's wearing a cool mask. Deborah Romana. A woman in a white wing uniform is working next to a massive gate-like structure. Well, here's the problem. How did you do it? She says in an undertone whilst avoiding your eye. Find out who you're talking to. The woman checks herself and turns around. Oh, sorry. Deborah Romano, White Wing, junior research scientist. Pleased to meet you. Introduce yourself. Deborah winks at you. Ah, so you're the new arrival. Magellan hasn't always exactly been teamed with new recruits recently. Ask about the forefather gate she's studying. Deborah smiles again and scratches her nose thoughtfully. Well, I'm 90% sure the structure is some kind of gate, see? There's something missing here. And here. And here. It's either power, supplies, or keys. They told me, prove it, and all the glory's yours. Well, easy said and all that, but I'd rather get some help than glory. But no, I gotta do it all by myself. Ask if she needs any help. The woman looks at the closed shutters of the gate. That's a good question. There are too many buts, you know? I did make some progress in my research, but... But... She smiles, ironically. Deborah takes a small relic device out of her backpack. The metallic housing of the artifact is covered with a drawing consisting of broken lines glowing pale yellow. She passes the relic to you. The device seems to have no weight. The first but I found was this thing close to the door, and I know that they're somehow connected, but I don't know how. I only know that there's a hollow in the door for it and a couple of similar devices. Aha. Uh -huh. Deborah crosses her arms on her chest and helps to conceal her growing anxiety. I've scanned it every inch of the cave, and you know what? I found radiation in two places. I looked at the documents, and there are indeed unextracted relics in the cave. The woman turns and points with her hand somewhere to the north. I found the first one. There. I demanded a consolidated driller, but there's the second but. I started drilling and it suddenly stopped. I have no idea why. I'm not good with machinery, sorry. And there's a second relic. Deborah nods in the direction of the proving ground. The third but is that the signal from the relic is strong, but scattered. The relic's somewhere in the proving ground for sure, but where exactly? She nods towards the device in your hands. Let it stay with you. If you're ready to help me despite all these butts, of course. Well, I've got all the items with me, but I kind of want to see... What are the radiation spots? Is that what that is? Because um, I don't see the other one, or I don't think I've seen the other one. At least as far as I can tell. Obviously there's a dead blue there, which is kind of weird that he's just been left there, but... Alright, let's try going around, whatever it is. If I was radiation, that's what I'd look like. Resisted gravity wave strike. Chance to resist it 24%. Jesus, I wasn't lucky. I was very lucky there. That's it. I'm probably going to die here. Uh, I don't know. Kind of want to see what happens if I step into it. Let's see. Oh. Do we just die? So it just repeatedly hits me. So that's what got him then. I thought that was a radiation. So in that case, the things emit radiation, that's how they find them, the relics. Well, I've got the relics that I need anyway. Did I loot you? Oh, why did I say before I looted him? Alright, let's go this way around. Hello. I was trying to move around, but okay, character. <laughs> Take a little bit of damage. Okay, move away. Right, I can just use this, right? You see something reminiscent of blast doors with patterns typical of forefather architecture. So let's look at the architecture, actually. So it definitely doesn't look very human. So it's like metal glowing lines and that. Hmm. We can obviously see the slots there that those things are going to take up. That's the cross, the other one's the square, and that one's the, the other one. Examine the shutters. The plates resemble granite or basalt, but the dull veins running through them emit a cold bluish light. There's a definite indentation on the surface of each shutter, suggesting a decoration or part that's been removed. Take a closer look at the frame. The massive round portal is made of different material than the shutters, although it's hard to say what exactly the difference is. On one side of the arch is something resembling a little niche. It might be a port for s connecting to an external device. Examine the indentations. You closely look closely at the depressions in the shutters of the gate. The surface is covered with something like polished metal plates. 
Look at the first indentation. You see a round depression on the gate that, uh, on the gate's left shutter. It's coated with a thin layer of dark, dully glittering metal. Well, is that the round relic? I mean, you know, it's like the kid's game, isn't it, really? After you insert the relic and give it a little push, you notice barely visible fissures on the surface around it. Now that it's been inserted, the relic can clearly be turned. Hmm. Turn the relic inside the depression? You turn the relic whilst pressing it gently, the fissures seal up again. At the same time, the relic sinks into the surface and fixes in place with a barely audible click. Move to the other indentations. Having moved a bit backwards, you eye the indentations in the gate shutters. The surface of the indentations are covered with the metal resembling blah blah blah. Second indentation. You notice square depression in the right shutter of the gate. Though it is coated with some dark, dully glittering metal, there is no sign of rust on its surface. Maybe it's not actually metal. So it's a square one, right? Well, let's insert the square piece. After you insert the relic and give it a little push, you notice barely visible fissure, so let's turn the relic again. Same thing. And for the third one, cross shaped moss covered hollow. Let's try that. And turn it. Soft click. A low grumbling sound comes from the depths of the portal. The gate shudders a bit, spreading dust and bits of dead moss over you. The wings begin to slide slowly to the sides, revealing a passage. Move away. No way, it can't be. <laughs> it's just too simple to be true. Never mind, now I can explore this machine. Thank you. I have a feeling that bad shit is going to happen. And don't I get at least some credit, White Wing? <laughs> okay. Can I actually talk to her? No, not any further. Right, let's head through the gate. Gain 75 exploration experience. Ooh. And now another puzzle. Oh. Oh shit. Maybe I should have paid more attention to that. Oh god, what the fuck is that thing? It's like a spider. It's still got bits of rock on it. I assume they're not intentional. Or are they? Oh, it's a stealth thing, isn't it? Yeah, because you can see the way the rocks are built into sort of the metal arms of it. I assumed it was just that it was carrying bits of rock on it, but I assume now that... Well, that just must be how they look. Alright, so I'm going to keep an eye out for odd-shaped rocks in the future and hope I don't die to this one. Shit, I should have reloaded. Gonna reload and wait. I wanna. Oh no, I can't. I gotta move. What's my stun chance? 42. I'm not liking those odds. Gonna move towards him. Oh! Okay, those are pincers. That's why I was getting close. Uh, I thought they were like some weird kind of energy. Oh god, those are horrifying. Okay, right, um, I should have probably stayed there. Well, at least I'm close for the stun now. Can I target him? No? Yes? Wait, can I not? Is he too close? Why can't I target you? I'm making movement sounds as well. Okay, I'm rather confused. Why can't I actually attack you? Is that just a bug? So that's a rather annoying bug. Can't punch him either. That's not minimum range, right? There's no way that's minimum range. Just move there. Is he taking damage as he's moving? Oh god. Woof! Okay, that's a bit close. I'm very confused. He seems to be... Took 30 pure damage. Is that because he's a faulty mode bias unit? Right, so all I need to do is move here. I don't want him to kill her, so I'm going to stand in between the pair of them, and hopefully he goes for me if there's any problem. No. Okay, so it's not dead. And I still can't target it. 
Oh, this isn't paying off. Can I punch it? I think I've lost my mind. Am I just... This is exactly what I was doing last time to fight. Right? So, I quit my gun. I got it in my hand. Pointing. Can't shoot it. I guess let's see if it follows me. I don't really want it attacking her, but it might. That was a weird combat. And I can't loot him either. I'm glad I didn't get snipped in half, but I'm kind of interested in how much damage I would have taken for that. How much damage? Why am I hurt? Was that just from the uh, holographic guys? Hmm. Weird. Right, so what have we got going on here then? We have a massive stone structure buried in soil and natural rubble. Let's scan the unknown relic. Twenty one forefather technology, is that it? Codex updated. Right now I need to view the codex. Which one is the code? Is it? No, it's not help. Data? Oops. Doesn't appear to be. Oh, there we go. Codex. Alright, let's see what I've got done. So, servo shell, we've got that. Chimera turret, yep. This event's mainframe, we've already seen that. This relic. Second class relic, presumed function. Power source, unknown. Power transformer, unknown. Storage of organic remains, unknown. Scientific device, unknown. Emits weak intermittent radiation. Okay. Presumed use as a power source. What does that make these then? Just more power sources? Another one. Let's scan this. Seems like they're all the same. But uh, is their use the same though? Theo 1993. Occult object? Question mark. Then this one? Double nine six. So is that the same as... No, it's got... Incubator. So can I choose which one of these? Or do I have to just have to tell people? Weird. And why is the game so loud? Right. Um, well, there doesn't appear to be anything else I can see or do here. No chess or loot. A little weird there. Wait, can I scan them again? I don't think so, right? I already scanned. There's definitely nothing else in here. At least nothing I can see. I'd assume by the looks of the place that there'd be something more. That's not a box. No, these appear to be boxes. Either. Why is it with that weird stone? There's a lot of those crystals around there. Maybe that signifies stuff from the forefathers' technology. Oh, now I can loot the faulty Mobius. Relic shards. Decent value. Deborah. Deborah gazes fascinatedly at the wings of the open door. Her eyes refle reflect flashes of blue light. Well, looks like I've done all the scanning and stuff, so you're welcome to go and do other stuff, I guess. I can scan this as well. Relic gate. Right. Let's see if there's anything on this side. I've... Haven't seen. It's possible I don't have the perception to see whatever it is. 